Hi DIYers, George here from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to delete a security sensor or a zone from your Honeywell Pro A7 Plus or Pro A7 Plus C. Now this is brand new for a lot of us just because uh, when this panel was first initially released it did not have local programming enabled. This was actually just released in June of 2021. So if you guys are just now buying a Pro A7 Plus, you should be receiving a panel that has access to programming. If you guys have one from before, then you guys just need to run a firmware update, which your company needs to push that through to the panel. And uh, that should enable the local programming and you now can start adding and deleting devices from programming. So everyone's super excited and hopefully this video helps you guys uh, remove the devices on your own now uh, since we have access to it. So the first thing you're going to need if you do have a Pro A7 Plus security system or the Pro A7 Plus C, you need the installer code. Uh, typically Honeywell installer code is always going to be 4112. Yours may be different if your company or yourself have changed it. Um, if you're monitored with us, the installer code, we usually like to leave it as 4112 for troubleshooting purposes as it's easier for a lot of you DIYers out there to remember it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is from the main screen right here, there's a little hamburger icon at the very center bottom. That's going to bring down our menu or that's going to open our menu on the side. And just like any Honeywell system, you have to go to tools. All right. Um, it's a little different process on the newer systems just because it has this little side menu, but you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to tools and it's going to ask you for your code. This is where you enter in your installer code. Mine is 4112. If you guys enter in the code and it doesn't do anything, that's because it's not an, a valid code. You need to use the installer code. If it works, you'll be taken here. And what are we going to do now? If it's your first time seeing it, you're going to have to go to programming. It's going to go enter into programming mode. We're going to change peripherals. If this is your first time using a Honeywell Pro A7 Plus, it's a little different than the other ones. The other ones usually just said zones. We need to go into peripherals. All right. That's the second option right there. It'll say sensors, key fobs, and keypads. Now, before I go ahead and go into deleting the zone, I just want to quickly touch base on the amount of zones that the system can support. It does hold 250 security sensors or zones 127 of those zones are for the pro 6 series or 6 series encrypted sensors and 123 of those are for the legacy sensors so the legacy honeywell legacy 2 gig legacy inner logics legacy dsc uh, in order to use these kinds of legacy sensors you do need the pro takeover module installed in the system so that you can make your panel work with those other frequencies all right <clears throat> So for the for today's video, I only have one sensor programmed in, but if you guys had multiple, you'd have a whole list. What we're going to do to delete it, there's this little empty square on the right hand side of the sensor. Um, if you're just going to if you want to select multiple, delete multiple, you're going to just check mark them. Since I only have one, I'm just going to check mark that one. Once you check mark that, you'll see the delete button show up in the top right corner. That only shows up if you have a sensor checkmarked. If no sensor is checkmarked, you see the delete button disappears. It's no longer there. So I'm going to hit this sensor. I'm going to select delete. What you're doing is you're freeing up that zone to be able to be used with another sensor, with another sensor serial number, basically. All right. So once I hit delete, it's going to ask you, you know, if you just want to confirm just to be safe, selected one sensor uh, will be deleted. So I'm going to confirm it, it'll delete it. And now, since that was the only sensor I had, I no longer have any peripherals to back out to the main screen. I'm just going to hit this little top left back arrow key two times. One, two, exiting programming mode. And then from there, you can either hit the bottom right icon to go to the main screen or just keep repeatedly tapping that back arrow to get back to your main screen. Right. So that was a quick video on how to delete a sensor on your Pro A7 Plus. Now that we actually have access to the programming, everybody should be able to do this and add sensors. We're going to have a lot of new content coming for you guys regarding the programming. So stay tuned. If you found this video helpful, uh, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon. So as we keep uploading new content, you guys get notified. I'm George and I'll see you guys next time.